Hello everyone, welcome to Chemical's channel. Today I am going to discuss about sodium oxidation. Sodium oxidation is a very important reaction asked in many exams. So sodium oxidation is oxidation of alcohols. So when we oxidize the alcohol, we know primary alcohol gives aldehyde, secondary alcohols give ketone and tertiary alcohol usually doesn't react with uh, oxidizing agents. So oxidations of alcohols give carbonic compounds that is aldehyde or ketone is known as sodium oxidation. Sodium oxidation reagents is COCl twice that is oxalyl chloride. Oxalyl chloride and DMSO dimethyl sulfoxide. Dimethyl sulfoxide. And CH to CO2 it is in the mixture. And minus 60 degrees Celsius. Sodium oxidation takes place at a low temperature. Uh, sodium oxidation usually takes place at a low temperature. And ET3N, it is a base. Triethane amine. ET3N is triethane amine. It is a base in this reaction. So usually sodium oxidation is oxidation of alcohols to corresponding carbonyl compounds using oxalyl chloride, dimethyl sulfoxide and a base at a very low temperature uh, usually minus 60 to minus 70 degrees Celsius. So here this is an alcohol which alcohol? A primary alcohol. A primary alcohol when we oxidize a primary alcohol we will get a aldehyde. So this is the product RCHO. This is an aldehyde. When we oxidize a primary alcohol, uh, we will get a aldehyde. So let's see the mechanism. So the mechanism is in first step, dimethyl sulfoxide and oxalic chloride will react to form a positive charged compound. So first you write the structure of dimethyl sulfoxide. Dimethyl sulfoxide and oxalic chloride COCl twice double bond O COCl this is a structure of oxalic chloride now this bond can be written as O minus and sulfur will get a partial positive charge now the oxygen is a negative charge so it will attack a positive charge carbon so this O minus can attack this carbonyl carbon and this Cl minus is eliminated because chlorine is the best leaving group. Now the product is Me S Me positive charge O double bond O chlorine is eliminated and a Cl. Now this Cl minus will attack this sulfur and this bond is bonds electron is shifted to here and this is shifted to here and chlorine is eliminated. So the final product is Me S Me a chlorine is attached this chlorine is attached to here and sulfur is positively charged. This bonds electrons are shifted to here. So C O2 and C triple bond O that is CO carbon monoxide. So we got a positively charged sulfur compound CO2 and CO. Now in the second step, the alcohol is reacted with this charged compound. Me Cl and me this get positive charge. Now this uh, oxygen is uh, negative charge and hydrogen is eliminated as H plus and this Cl is eliminated as Cl minus and these will form HCl. Now the structure is R O the oxygen is attached to sulfur. O S M E M E and C L is eliminated. 
Now the base will come into the play. Uh, the base will deprotonate one of the hydrogen of a methyl group. R O S C H three C H three and a plus star. Now base will deprotonate one of the proton of methyl group. So CH three becomes CH two minus and a CH three. Now here there is two hydrogens R CH two O. So this hydrogen this abstracts this hydrogen as H plus and this electron is donated to this bond. And this bond is eliminated. So what will we get? R C H double bonded O. This is aldehyde. So a primary alcohol is oxidized to a aldehyde. Now let's do some examples. Uh, first one. This is a primary alcohol. And primary alcohol, when we oxidize a primary alcohol, it will give aldehyde. So this OH will convert it to CHO. Double bond is not affected. This will convert it to CHO. Now, second, second example, two OH is there. So this is a secondary alcohol. And this one is a primary alcohol. Secondary alcohol is converted to ketone and primary alcohol is converted to aldehyde. So NC6H13 double bonded O which is converted to a ketone and this is converted to CHO. CHO. Now, in third example, here instead of CuCl twice, P2O5 penta uh, phosphorus penta oxide is given. So, if we are uh, if we are not satisfied with chlorinate byproducts, uh, we can use P2O5 instead of CuCl twice. Uh, if you don't want chlorinated byproducts in the reaction, so oxidation. We can use P2O5 instead of CuCl twice. Now here the OH is secondary alcohol. So secondary alcohol is converted to ketone. CO2NE double bonded O ketone. Now this is also for an oxidation. Uh, here uh, three OH is there. This is a secondary alcohol, this is a tertiary alcohol and this is also secondary alcohol. So we know tertiary alcohol doesn't give reaction or tertiary alcohol cannot be oxidized. Secondary alcohol will be ketone and this will also be ketone. So this will be ketone and this OH is not affected and this will also give ketone and the rest of the compound is same. So when we oxidize as a tertiary alcohol it doesn't give reaction, secondary alcohol is converted to ketone. So in this example the OH is Secondary alcohol, secondary alcohol is converted to ketone. Secondary alcohol is converted to ketone, and rest of the compound is, uh, rest of the substituents is not affected in this reaction. Now here also 
this is primary alcohol so it is converted to aldehyde nh boc it is a protecting group it is converted to aldehyde now the advantages of sodium oxidation is uh, it give high yield high yield and mild condition is required mild conditions and the reaction is very fast very fast reaction so these are the advantages of sodium oxidation